Hi everyone, it's me, Bill. And once again, I'm joined with... Me. And today we are reviewing Cracker Barrel mac and cheese. I feel like Cracker Barrel is normally like a higher quality brand of cheese. Like we use it to make cheese its a lot. I associate it with more quality than Kraft. However, I do believe that it is owned by Kraft. I don't know if you can read that, but it says copyright Kraft. Let's see if it just tastes like Kraft mac and cheese or if it tastes better, or somehow tastes worse. Who knows? Yeah, we have very good results with our Cracker Barrel cheeses. Yeah. So yeah, I have high expectations today. If you want a high quality cheese, you get Cracker Barrel. You don't get Kraft single slices. Duh. Hopefully it tastes better than Kraft. If you want a really high quality though, you go for that Irish stuff. Well, yeah. That's but... good, yeah. Go to the cheese section if you want really high quality. Yeah. So a few weeks ago when the water was boiling, we reviewed a Reese's snack that we thought was interesting when we were at the store. And uh, here's another one we're going to try. It is the Reese's Crunchy Snack Cake. Uh, last time it was just the Reese's Snack Cake. Snack. So we'll see if this one's crunchier or if it's just the exact same thing, but with peanuts instead of peanut butter. And we'll see. This is like the cousin. Yeah. The red haired stepchild. I don't know, maybe it's better. So again, last time I was expecting a square and yeah. we ended up with rectangles and once again... Rectangles, because they would not change something that simple that only one person complained about. I didn't really complain, it was just an observation. Hmm. You ready? Yep. <laughs> For some reason I was expecting a cookie. I did not get any peanuts in that bite. Really? I got a bunch. Hmm. Peanuts had a great taste. This is great before dinner, you eat a candy bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got a few. I think I like the other ones more. Really? Yeah, those ones tasted like a brownie and with a little bit of peanut butter, which when you get a Reese's, you're expecting more of a peanut butter, but it Sorry. tasted really good. I'm getting more peanut butter in this one, but I don't know. I just kind of like the taste of the other one more. Hmm. I think the peanut, like the crunch comes from the peanut. Mm -hmm. And I think the peanut gives it more taste, like mm -hmm. pops the um, peanut butter taste. I think I just like the cake taste of it more. I feel like the cake's kind of bland. Mm -hmm. The gluten-free brownies <laughs> have more of a taste than, mm -hmm. than this guy here. Yeah, the other one definitely had more of a uh, cake taste to it, which I feel like I'm a bit disappointed by. Is what it is. Still not bad tasting, just kind of there. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. It does have a really nice texture to it. Mm -hmm. Is it a high sodium? Because I don't really taste mm -hmm. salt. I'm sure it's in there. It mm -hmm. just, I don't feel like, ooh, salty. Mm -hmm. Just curious how it compares to all the others because they're all kind of high sodium. Yeah. I think the cheese is better than Velveeta, but. Not by a lot. Mm -mm. I don't mind it as much. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it kind of tastes about the same. I think it is better than Velveeta. I mean, yeah, but not by a significant amount, I think. Agreed. Like, I'd rather have Kraft than, uh, than this. <laughs> it's all over it, though, and creamy. Yeah. Looks like you enjoyed yours. It's the only thing I'm having for dinner, so kind of have to eat it, but... uh. That's fair. Like, the flavor of the cheese wasn't that different from Velveeta, which... Kind of surprised me. I feel like Cracker Barrel, again, it's a higher quality cheese. You'd think that would translate to, I we guess. We're expecting more from you. <laughs> I guess it's still 
kind of the same. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. I really didn't think there was a significant difference between the two. Not a significant difference, but I did feel this was the, the taste of the cheese was a little bit better with this one. A little, but not a whole lot. The pasta, the, the consistency, everything was fine. It was really just the flavor again that really kills it. So what are you saying? Uh, pasta consistency? Three? Everything gets a four except for cheese flavor, which gets a low score, I guess. Everything gets a four? Yeah? Yeah, it was, it was fine. It was really just the flavor that really makes it not a good tasting cheese. Mm -hmm. I think I would give it straight threes just because it's just typical uh, smell, color, creaminess. It gets a bump up. <laughs> so I'd give it straight <laughs> threes with a two for the cheese flavor. <laughs> I think I gave Velveeta a one. Overall, where would you put it? I think Velveeta you gave it a C minor. I would put it above Velveeta, but below Kraft, I would say. That's like a solid three. I think I'd do the same. Again, like I said before with other ones, if I was hungry and mm -hmm. it was on the shelf, I could eat it. Mm -hmm. If I was hungry and there were other things on the shelf, I'd pass it by. I'm a little surprised. I feel like going into this, I thought Kraft would have been like one of the worst mac and cheeses, but I mean, it, it's the staple for a reason. It's not bad, yeah, especially yeah. compared to like other m macaroni and cheeses. Yeah, it's like the gold standard. I guess so. Everything else compares to it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to diss Kraft, but I, I kind of thought that they would be like the dollar store mac and cheese. Just mm -hmm. there's mac and cheese and that everything would sort of be a step up from there. In, in reality, it looks like Kraft's coming out on top. Yeah, I mean, they're they're pretty good. I don't think we have a mac and cheese decided for next week. I guess we'll decide it when we get there. You want to talk about what ones we have? No, I'm just lazy. <laughs> I could get them. They're right up there. No, I, I don't feel like doing that. So we'll see you next week. Or maybe you hated this video, in which case we probably won't see you next week. Yeah, if you hated this, tell your friends and, and tell them not to subscribe. Tell them to yeah. put hate comments down in the comments. Yeah, we just read the comments constantly. So <laughs> if you tell us how much this video sucks, we will both know because yeah. we both read them like constantly. We'll know. And, and if you say like, if you give a recommendation of something to do, probably do the opposite just to piss you off. Yeah, we really don't care about you, so, <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. I wonder if anyone would make those <laughs> nasty comments just because we asked for them. And today we are reviewing... <laughs> Shit. Cracker Barrel is a... Uh... I agree. I notice the audio picks up when I swallow. Hmm. So I'm watching the video and all of a sudden you're... <laughs>